challenges. And I would like to thank the gentle lady from New Jersey for uh, reserving this hour of time for us to talk about uh, something that's incredibly important, the LGBTQ uh, Pride Month. So thank you. Uh, it's just re remarkable to look back, uh, just in the time that I've been here in the Congress, uh, to see the the the, um, the 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 quality that has come about in these um, years. Just eight years ago, in my home state of California, there was a proposition uh, to prohibit gay marriage, and it passed. And when Proposition 8 passed, it was. It was really heartbreaking for not only California's LGBTQ community and its allies, but really for our families, because uh, quite honestly, every family in some way or another is connected. We have family members who belong to the LGBT community. But we didn't let this, we didn't let this be a setback to us. Um, and like other Americans, LGBTQ Californians believe that they deserved equality under the eyes of the law. And so um, in July of 2013, the Supreme Court finally struck down core components of the 1996 Defense of Marriage Act, a law that was passed right before I got to the Congress. And this important ruling uh, made Proposition 8 null and void, returning marriage equality back to my great state of California. And last year, the Supreme Court guaranteed an individual's right to marry whomever they love, regardless of sex. And the Supreme Court recognized that what we've known for a long time, that it's wrong to deprive citizens of the right to marry the loves of their lives. And they recognize that it's... Um, that to do so would be to treat same-sex couples like second-class citizens. Equality, fairness, and love won in the highest court of this nation. In our military, LGBTQ service members have also achieved remarkable progress towards equality and ending anti-LGBTQ discrimination just five years ago. An LGBTQ American could not proudly serve their country in the military. But since the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell, our LGBTQ service members are now able to serve openly in our military. What a great day. And while we celebrate this extraordinary progress, we also have to recognize that we still have a ways to go. There are many states in our country where you can be fired from your job simply because... You are gay. And across the country in Congress, we're still seeing discrimination, discrimination, discrimination. And under our current laws, LGBTQ Americans aren't guaranteed the vital protections against discrimination. And that's why, that's why I'm a proud sponsor of the Equality Act. It's time for Congress to pass this essential civil rights legislation. So once again, I want to thank my colleague from New Jersey uh, for celebrating today um, and to understand that regardless of sexual orientation, all Americans deserve life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And I yield